and welcome. Today we're flying uh, somewhere in Chile and I found this amazing airstrip uh, to do some uh, practice landings, touch and goes and whatever. And I'm running the latest uh, NVIDIA game ready driver. I think it's uh, 536.99. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the, uh, the latest one. And I'm running it in uh, DX11 and it's really really smooth flying and uh, I'm flying with uh, live weather now and it's raining there's snow on the tops it's beautiful beautiful scenery here it's in the afternoon somewhere in Chile and uh, yeah I'm very happy with, uh, with the sim right now it's so smooth right so I try to keep my head as still as possible <laughs> I got some complaints that people were getting uh, sick <laughs> but, but yeah well when you're in VR you, uh, you you tend to look around right so um, because of your narrower field of view you're gonna look around to get everything um, in your memory for your for your fish for your peripherals right so I try to do it as slow as possible and um, hope it's a, it's a better picture for you all right let let me show you what I get in the um, OpenXR toolkit so these are my settings Let me check the FPS right now. That's 42. Oh, that's nice. Let's switch this one off. So I'm cast 50% sharpness. Foveat rendering is off because that messes up the um, the recording. I'm in turbo mode, and um, yeah, that's it. And then oh, I'll go back. Appearance didn't do anything there. Inputs minus 50, that's for a smooth recording. And then we got the, the other one system. That's oh, system. I can show you system real quick. Override resolution and no motion reprojection is off, and the rest is all simple. So for me, this works good. I got a really really good frame rate here I'll do that for 40 43 45 that's amazing all right so down there you can see the airstrip it's a small one it's a beautiful one I, I don't know where I got it from don't know if it's a default one um, or that I got it from flightsim.to but it's a nice one to practice uh, landings Especially here in, 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 in Chile, where you're flying here, you got these mountains, you got lakes, you got everything. And these little airstrips like down here, they that's just fun. Of course you can't land there with airliner, but uh, hey. I don't fly airliners, I fly general aviation. And this is just awesome, I love it. It's so smooth, really. All right, let's uh, let's try a landing here. So you can do anything here, right? It's the same. There's the airstrip, right above the wingtip. Yeah, that's for the gear. I know, we got that annoying gear warning. Let's lose some airspeed first. Alright, 
uh, lower the gear get a little bit of drag from the gear and I, it's been a while since I've flown in this uh, in the Skymaster have a look from the outside So, okay, so we're going to for final just over that over the house is at uh, ten o'clock. Right, flaps. to lose a little bit of height second stage of flaps alright now turn for final look at this scenery isn't it beautiful This is really good. And this is, I think, this is default scenery. Not sure. I'm, I'm not sure about the airport, but the scenery itself is, is, is default. And it looks so beautiful. And it's different than, than like the, 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 the states or Europe. It's brown, dark green, grayish. on the speed All right. All right. so these are my settings for VR I'm using the LSS super resolution in auto and the rest is pretty standard you can copy this or tweak it for, for your likings I'm running it on a 3080 and the spreading settings are pretty high, but not too high, but it's good enough. So these are my settings for VR. And it runs beautiful. If I put the um, the other modes for for DLSS. Uh, sometimes I get some blackouts in the uh, in the reverb uh, G2, so I keep it on auto, and that works fine for me. Okay, so well, the new game ready driver is uh, is running uh, running good. Uh, it's not really an improvement to the other one, so it's I think it's pretty safe to uh, to update the driver. And about the settings, well, those are my settings. Maybe it's helpful for you. I'm running it on a 3080, so. Who knows? Right. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to the channel. It will help me out a lot. Alright, bye bye guys. Have a good one.